All right, Mighty FreshBooks users, in this video, you're going to learn how to record your owner's contributions and your owner's draws. Contributions are money that you put into your company, that you invest in your company. Owner's draws are the money that you have taken out of your company. If you're an S-Corp, um, and sometimes we use the word distribution for that um, as well, um, but it all goes to the same spot in your financials. It goes to the balance sheet. It's a balance sheet transaction, and it's going to show up in the equity section of your balance sheet. Money that you put in is equity that you've contributed, and money that you take out that is not part of official payroll that is like, you know, run by a payroll company, those are going to be owner's draws or owner's distributions. That payroll situation probably doesn't apply to the vast majority of folks watching this video um, yet because you probably have um, already been using FreshBooks for a while and would already know how to classify your draws if you're running payroll on yourself. But any money that you take out is going to be in the equity section of your balance sheet as well. It's a decrease in your company's equity. All right, so let's not waste time. I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's dive in. One quick thing to note is that this video really only applies to people who have their bank account connected to FreshBooks. Here in the accounting tab is where you will know if your bank is connected. And if you don't have your bank connected, then you don't have a real balance sheet. But if you connect your bank account or your credit cards, you are going to have a balance sheet whether you like it or not. And you need to get it right. Any debit cards or savings accounts that you have connected are going to be in the top portion of your in, in the asset section of your balance sheet. Any credit cards that you have are going to be in further down in the middle part of your balance sheet um, called the liability section. And then below that, we're going to have the equity section. And that's where your owner's draws and your owner's contributions land. Your owner's contribution and your owner's draws are largely going to happen in your, your bank, bank account, your checking account, not your credit card account. So let's go there. So we're here in the bank reconciliation tab for a checking account. If you put money into your bank account from your personal account, that's making an investment in your business. So you're going to select that deposit where it, so it becomes blue here on the left side. These are the imported transactions from your bank account. Then you're going to go up here to the green and you're going to mark as owner's equity. Just, just so you know, this is not an owner's contribution in this account. This is an invoice payment, but it's money in. And so this is an example of an owner's contribution. Could be an example of an owner's contribution. I just needed to find a money in transaction that's going to allow the this drop down to come out, uh, come down whenever I, so I can select mark as equity. Now let's say we took money out because you are crushing it and you're making lots of money and you built this business to actually put money in your pocket. So you're going to select a money out transaction. Let's pretend it's this one. And you're going to mark as and you're going to select owner's equity. Do the same thing. Mark it as owner's equity. When you do this, this entry is going to disappear from the expenses side. This is the FreshBooks expenses side. And by default, um, anytime money comes out of an account that's connected to FreshBooks, the, posi the position that FreshBooks takes is that that outflow is an expense. But it, in this instance, we're calling this an owner's draw. And as soon as I select that as owner's equity, it's going to disappear here. And it's also going to disappear here in the expenses tab. And that's really important because owner's draws have never have been and never will be um, expenses for your company. They do not show up in your profit and loss statement. They do not decrease the net profit of your company. The money you take out does not decrease the profit of your company. All right, I have one more thing to say about this because I see this happening in credit card counts often. Let's say you make a payment on your business credit card from your personal account. You really shouldn't do that because that starts to feel like you are piercing the corporate veil because what you really should do is make an investment in your company by putting cash into the business checking account and then pay off your credit card from checking. But let's say you don't do that and you skip that step. What you need to do is take that credit card payment that you made from your personal because maybe you're having a cash flow crunch inside your business and you select that transaction and you're going to mark it as equity. And then the converse of that situation is say that you're out in town and you accidentally make a purchase with your business credit card. That's not for business. Or maybe you buy something off Amazon and you accidentally had the wrong credit card selected when you bought it. That's not an uncommon situation, but it's not a business expense, right? And so you need to mark that transaction as an 
owner's draw or owner's equity as well. Because what really happened here? So you went to the store or you went to Amazon and you used the business credit card for some for personal. But what you should have done to make that purchase is to take that exact amount out of your business cash and put it into your personal account and then use that pers personal account to buy the thing that you bought. But you skipped that step. So what we, we see a transaction that is from business credit card to Amazon. And so we have to mark that as an owner's draw. It's not going to feel like an owner's draw to you necessarily, but it is. It's a reduction in equity of the company. And if you see that expense in your expenses tab, you're going to be tempted to mark it as personal. FreshBooks gives you a, gives you a category called personal. Um, it's a default account, but that's, that's a lie. There's no expense called personal. It's an owner's distribution, and it doesn't belong on your profit and loss statement. It belongs in your balance sheet as a reduction in equity. And when you mark it this way in the bank rec screen, selecting the blue button and marking the green button as equity, it's going to disappear from your expenses tab. All right, so that is how to mark your owner's contributions and owner's draws inside of FreshBooks. If you watched all of this video, you need to be subscribed to this channel because there's no way someone is accidentally watching this far on a technical video like this unless they're actually using FreshBooks. You are also probably a great candidate for my FreshBooks office hours if this is the kind of technical questions that you have about this bookkeeping software. So please reach out and we can have a free, free um, quick consultation to see if I can be of service to you or offer training or if I can invite you to my office hours for FreshBooks users. All right, that's all for now. I'm Kate Josephine Johnson and I help businesses build their business legacy.